Diplomatic negotiation, the discussion or examination of a dispute between two or more parties, orally or in writing, at a conference or congress where only the parties participate. Good offices, the friendly service by a third state or international organization for the dispute parties to start negotiations and produce solutions for the purpose of dispute resolution. Mediation, the assistance of the international organization, the third state or a person in order to participate in the negotiations on the dispute resolution of the states that are parties to the dispute and to resolve the disputes. Conciliation, a peaceful settlement method in which the states that are parties to the dispute create an independent commission and ask this commission to examine the issue and bring solutions to them. Investigation the activities carried out by an impartial and independent commission appointed with the aim of making objective determination regarding the disputes between the state's parties. Arbitration, a solution method in which the resolution of the dispute is decided by the independent and impartial third person or persons called the arbitrator instead of the state court trial and the final decision is binding. Ad hoc, the method in which only certain dispute resolution is decided by the parties without reference to any institution, and which is common especially in mediation and arbitration. Temporary means only for a particular event. Permanent Court of Arbitration, the judicial body, which was established in 1900 with the Hague Convention for the Pacific Settlement of International Disputes of 1899, can be applied both in terms of interstate disputes and commercial and investment disputes where one side is the state and the other is a private entity. The International Court of Justice, established due to the need for an independent and impartial tribunal for the resolution of disputes between states after the First World War as Permanent Court of International Justice, it is one of the main organs of the United Nations that replaced this court with the establishment of the United Nations after the Second World War. Court of Justice of the European Union, a judicial body, headquartered in Luxembourg was established in 1952 to ensure the interpretation and implementation of European Union law, consisting of two structures, the Court of Justice and the General Court. The World Trade Organization, it is an international organization that officially started its activities on January 1, 1995, with the main objectives such as facilitating the circulation of goods and services in international trade and predictability of investment-related legislation. The difference between diplomatic and judicial settlement methods by explaining the ways of solving international disputes. According to Article 1 of the United Nations Treaty, one of the aims of the United Nations is to settle the disputes peacefully. Article 2 of the treaty emphasizes that member states should resolve their disputes peacefully. The solutions that have been created from past to today are divided into two as diplomatic, peaceful, and judicial settlement methods. Diplomatic settlement methods are diplomatic negotiation, good offices, mediation, conciliation, and investigation methods. The methods of judicial settlement are the Permanent Court of Arbitration, the International Court of Justice, the Court of Justice of the European Union, and the World Trade Organization. In diplomatic solution methods, states that are parties to the dispute come together to negotiate and discuss disputes. In this way, Matters of dispute can be discussed by states' parties and facilitate progress in reaching a settlement. However, as a result of peaceful settlement methods, the parties cannot be forced to reach a solution and to take a binding decision. In other words, the parties have the right to refuse. In judicial settlement methods, the judiciary decides on a particular dispute by the competent judicial authority. Therefore, the judicial decision is binding for the parties for the dispute parties. Although its application and impact aspects and dispute resolution methods differ from each other, it is clear that it serves international trust and justice because it ultimately prevents the use of force. Dispute Settlement Methods Diplomatic, Peaceful, Methods Diplomatic Negotiation Good Offices Mediation Conciliation Investigation Judicial Methods The Permanent Court of Arbitration The International Court of Justice The Court of Justice of the European Union The World Trade Organization
the structure of international organizations and judicial institutions related to dispute resolution. Diplomatic, peaceful, settlement methods are regulated and recommended by the United Nations Treaty. Judicial settlement methods are implemented either through an international convention or through bodies established within international or regional organizations. The Permanent Court of Arbitration is a judicial body established by the Hague Convention. Although the Permanent Court of Arbitration is thought to be related to the settlement of interstate disputes, since 1930, it has been the jurisdiction that can be applied in terms of commercial and investment disputes, where one side is the state and the other is a private entity. The International Court of Justice is a major judicial body of the United Nations. The International Court of Justice has two types of powers, namely binding decision-making and consultation in interstate cases. The Court of Justice of the European Union, on the other hand, is of a regional nature and is a judicial body with the authority to judge the members of the European Union. The Court of Justice of the European Union was established to ensure the interpretation and enforcement of European Union law and has the powers to review whether European Union institutions are acting in accordance with the law, to ensure that the member states of the Union comply with the obligations, and to interpret European Union law at the request of national courts. Considering the structures of these judicial bodies, it is understood that in order to ensure trust in the judiciary, an attempt is made to ensure that all of the parties to the relevant international treaty are represented in appointments of judges or arbitrators. WDO, World Trade Organization, is the institution which has the main objectives of facilitating the circulation of goods and services in international trade and to make the investment legislation of the countries predictable, and which has officially started its activities on January 1, 1995 including Turkey among its founders. WDO members should primarily resolve their trade disputes through bilateral negotiations. Dispute settlement body under the WDO is exclusively authorized to resolve disputes between states' parties. The Secretariat of the Dispute Settlement Body is in Geneva. WDO member states' ability to file a case is not subject to the condition that the WDO agreements have been violated. The Court of Justice of the European Union. It consists of two structures, the Court of Justice and the General Court. It was established to ensure the interpretation and application of European Union law. Its headquarters is in Luxembourg. The General Court appeals the decisions of the Court of Justice of the European Union. The International Court of Justice is the judiciary that was established after the First World War for the purpose of resolving disputes between states and became one of the main organs of the United Nations as a result of the establishment of the United Nations after the Second World War. The Types of Diplomatic Negotiation Negotiations between the two states to establish diplomatic relations and normalize relations Negotiations which usually take place after a war and regulate the change of sovereignty and influence regions. Negotiations to reveal new formations. Negotiations aimed at extending an existing agreement between states' parties. The ways for states to authorize the International Court of Justice in relation to a case. Arbitration. International Treaty. A declaration to be submitted to states that are members of the Council status and to the UN Secretary General. Participation of the counterpart state in the case when a state makes a unilateral application regarding an existing dispute. Mediation is the dispute settlement method in which the international organization, the third state or a person involved in negotiations with states that are parties to the dispute, 
and to assist and help them in resolving disputes. The general characteristics of good offices, mediation, the permanent court of arbitration, and conciliation methods. The main difference between good offices and mediation methods is that mediation begins where the good offices ends. In the good offices, the third party does not participate in the negotiations between the parties, on the other hand, the third person in mediation participates in the negotiations. Mediation is different from the method of arbitration by the permanent court of arbitration. In arbitration, upon the application of the parties, the permanent court of arbitration is decided on the dispute. This decision is binding for the parties. However, decision-making in mediation lies with the parties. In arbitration, one party loses while the other wins. However, in mediation, a win-win result occurs for both parties because the parties are reaching a solution together by an agreement. While arbitration focuses more on the merits and legal aspects of the case, a political influence is also added to the dispute in mediation. There is a third party in both of the methods of mediation and conciliation. The parties can try to solve the problem among themselves with the help of the mediator without going to court. On the other hand, the parties can also resolve their disputes through the settlement method. Confidentiality is taken into consideration in both solution methods. However, it is possible to say that compared to the conciliator, the mediator assumes a more passive role or is the facilitator. The objectives of the Court of Justice of the European Union and the conditions for the International Court of Justice to take action. The objectives of the Court of Justice of the European Union are to ensure the interpretation and enforcement of law as the European Union judicial authority and in cooperation with the courts of the member states. The Court of Justice of the European Union monitors whether the actions of EU institutions is in line with EU law ensures that the member states of the Union complies with the obligations under the treaties, and interprets the law of the European Union at the request of national courts. In order for the International Court of Justice to deal with the case, states that are parties to the dispute must fulfill at least one of the following conditions. States that are parties to the dispute must be a UN member, be a party to the ICJ status, and states that are not members of the ICJ status have met the conditions set by the Security Council. In addition, in order for the ICJ to look into a case other than these conditions, the consent of the parties is required. The consent of the parties, namely the authorization of the ICJ, can be realized as follows. Arbitration arrangements between the parties, international treaty in which the parties authorize the ICJ, a declaration to be submitted to states that are members of the Council status and to the UN Secretary-General, and if a state makes a unilateral application to the ICJ regarding an existing dispute, the other party recognizes the ICJ's authority if it participates in the case together, even if it does not recognize the authority of the ICJ beforehand.